Thanks for tuning in to the Elixir Divine YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do about my heavy metal detox program that was prescribed by a doctor, but also part of my own research. Information is my opinion. If you're going to attempt to do any kind of heavy metal calculation, please consult a healthcare professional because it's serious business and this is just something that I want to share with everyone as part of my blog over here so as you may know or not know from my previous videos these are my tests for the heavy metals that I did using DMSA six hour chelation urine test and what happened was I was heavy and mercury was the top past the red and lead was also in the red zone everything else was kind of in the green zone still of course I don't want any of those either but um, I was prescribed a heavy metal detox protocol based on those results by a naturopathic doctor, a naturopath or ND with the N. And you can see it's a lot of supplements, but at the core of my detox, the prescription is for DMSA, D as in Diana. So DMSA is a heavy metal chelating agent. And it's quite effective because it pulls a lot of these nasty heavy metals out of your body. But it is a serious um, chelator. And that's why you need a doctor's prescription for this one. You know, it's basically the amount that you take for the detox is based on individual weight. So people who weigh more, they have to take more of these DMSA tablets. Uh, each one of these is about 200 milligrams. It's done in cycles. Three days on, each day is eight capsules of DMSA, 10 days off. And I gotta do like eight or 10 of those cycles. So it's gonna take me more than three months to complete this program. And then I'm going to retest by doing the six hour chelation test, same one that I did in the beginning in my other video, um, to see how successful the program is where I take three of these pills two times a day with meals so with breakfast and then with lunch and then I take two more with dinner so total of eight and the reason for the off cycle is because you want to give your liver you want to give your uh, systems a break and let it recuperate so DMSA chelating agent it's known to take out mercury, lead, as well as other nasty heavy metals. You know, this is some professional grade stuff. That's why you need a doctor's prescription for that. Okay. Um, it really does smell like sulfur if you open it. And even when you start taking it, you start peeing, you start burping, you're going to smell the sulfur smells because DMSA is based on a sulfur molecule. Uh, that's why if you smell sulfur it's completely normal so that's just how it is DMSA at the core of my detox program okay in addition to DMSA there are natural ways to detox from heavy metals and um, while I was waiting for the doctor prescription I was actually doing a natural detox that I did on my own and the natural detox for the heavy metals is a combination of cilantro and chlorella. This product is pretty good, pretty popular uh, because it's a combination of cilantro and chlorella. Both of them are organic and I like that. It's convenient. It's basically uh, like three droppers at a time to get your dose for that. Okay, so you can get that at any health food store um, or online. Um, it's pretty good, but I prefer the actual, the real raw organic cilantro as well as, um, you know, chlorella. What happens is cilantro, it breaks the ionic bond between a heavy metal and your tissues because heavy metals, they get stuck in your tissues like bones and um, as well as fat, like lead gets stuck in your bones and mercury gets stuck in your fatty tissues as well as your brain and cilantro breaks that ionic bond between the heavy metal and your body and it releases it into your bloodstream and that's why you need chlorella 
chlorella to because chlorella works like a sponge it basically captures that freed so to speak heavy metal it captures it and it transfers it out of your body through uh, through your stool your urine so forth sweat so this is a natural way and there's no doctor prescription for that again I'm not a doctor but I was doing this on my own before I got the heavy-duty stuff which is the DMSA okay so cilantro chlorella combination easy and actually in between my DMSA cycles I still take this just to speed up the process okay so that's chlorella cilantro um, as well as I do have extra chlorella just because you want to make sure that I want to make sure that uh, there's enough of those heavy metals that are free that are being pulled out there's other benefits to chlorella besides pulling out the freed heavy metals and taking them out of the body uh, such as protecting you from radiation and stuff like that uh, high sources of chlorophyll and so forth better carotene um, so this one very stinky green it's an algae it's organic certified so this is a really good product because now brand is a very good brand um, it's still family owned to this day they're veterans in this business and um, I believe this brand this chlorella was tested by the um, uh, health ranger of naturalnews.com and he, this one was one of the top ones for not having a lot of or any heavy metals so good for that because a lot of supplements actually contain heavy metal so you don't want to be retoxifying yourself um, with heavy metals in supplements okay so chlorella garlic another natural a great thing to have because garlic is also sulfur based uh, molecule you can take raw garlic when you cook it it kind of kills it off a little bit the more you cook it the less therapeutic it becomes this is the freeze-dried organic garlic supplement so this one's pretty strong I do like to eat raw garlic as well raw organic garlic uncooked I usually eat it with a little bit of salt and like bread or something like that or I just add it to sauces really good because garlic is one of those sulfur containing foods that will help in the heavy metal detox as well as onions they're also sulfur containing foods onions as well as eggs are also sulfur containing and you know that smell of eggs when they're going bad it's kind of sulfur well it's very similar to DMSA for the same reason okay garlic onion you know these are additional things that the doctor didn't really prescribe these three guys although they did recommend chlorella but I already knew it before that but vitamin C three grams a day is what they prescribe with my DMSA heavy metal detox three grams a day I go for uh, really good vitamin C this one I like this brand it does come with a lot of the probiotics and the enzyme blend so it gets assimilated into the body pretty well I like this product it's 500 milligrams for two capsules and I have to take three grams so that's that's a lot of capsules but still this is something good to have and that's actually what the doctor prescribed not in particular this brand but just in general three grams of vitamin C uh, next one that the doctor uh, recommended take with the heavy metal detox is this product right here heavy metal support I do take it once in a while uh, it's mostly what it's made of is it looks like magnesium zinc selenium some copper manganese molybdenum potassium a little bit of um, and then uva or C extract uh, I think that's like some kind of herb L-methionine which is an amino acid ALA this this one is pretty important and then the marshmallow so these things help your liver uh, do the detox um, so I do take it once in a while although a lot of these up here are contained in my multivitamins and then the doctor also suggested or prescribed so to speak this one right here by the way if you're wondering what doctor I saw I went to the Steel Smith Health Center here in Honolulu Hawaii so very very good doctors there Dr. Coles and Dr. Steel Smith and this is the lipotropic cleanse okay so uh, what is a lipotropic cleanse well it looks like it's mostly inositol uh, choline, L-methionine again, taurine, dandelion 
Uh, so it looks like basically all of these are amino acids and then dandelion is known as for its liver detoxifying functions because your liver is going to be doing a lot of work so you need to uh, keep it healthy and give it proper nutrients and help it uh, detoxify uh, greater calendine and whatever this one is google sterones from google extract <laughs> that sounds funny but um it's probably really good for the liver detox so that's why the doctor actually uh, prescribed these two products um, and then on top of that ALA is also known to uh, help detoxify especially for mercury so a lot of people I know that they take just ALA for mercury detox well you know I think that's just one part of the puzzle the alpha lipoic acid um, and I don't think it's probably not that strong as a this right here anyway NAC which is an amino acid um, NAC stands for N acetylcysteine so this one is known for helping your body detox from heavy metals so I usually take these guys in combination and then in addition to that um, I just take you know supplemental uh, things always I take multivitamin a good one not always this particular one but I try to keep it uh, like a good brand I like pure encapsulations brand uh, this brand is okay too I like organic certified multivitamins as well um, so that one I do these ones just to keep things good and functioning um, and then magnesium very important vitamin B complex a lot of the B complex um, vitamins they also play a role in this whole game as well as iodine and believe it or not fish oil although you know you got to be careful with fish because of the mercury content and this and that uh, you want to make sure a good um, you get a good fish supplement just overall good for your health so so this is not all that necessary for the detox but I just take it just because it's it's worth it but most importantly you want to drink plenty of water so we get these one gallon jugs and we fill them up with water uh, reverse osmosis water we don't drink tap water obviously no fluoride no uh, none of that junk because we don't want to toxify our body tap water does have a lot of pollutants in it and we just don't play that game this is only 50 cents a gallon reverse osmosis plus UV filter and a carbon filter so you can't go wrong with that on the mainland the price is, is even cheaper so it's definitely worth it and if you think that reverse osmosis water pulls minerals from you well this is why you wanna just you know ensure yourself you still get those minerals in your body even if some are pulled with the reverse osmosis water anyways um, one last least but not last last but not least protein protein and I'm not necessarily talking about this uh, protein uh, powder we just have some free samples over here and I really do I'm a believer in bone broth sorry all the vegan people but bone broth is healing especially if it's organic especially if it's homemade um, bone broth is healing for your gut bone broth is even good for your detox and you can s even see on this particular package it tells you right here supports healthy joints skin muscles and detox so bone broth um, something good 20 grams of protein for this little packet that's pretty good the taste is not so bad um, so this is ancient nutrition I wish it was certified organic but you know like I said it's a free sample so I do drink this sometimes but you got to make sure and this is what my doctor prescribed to me I got to make sure that you take enough protein when you're doing the detox so what's enough protein you take your total body weight divided by two and that's the amount of grams of protein so if you weigh 150 pounds you divide that by two you get 75 so that's 75 grams of protein a day that's ideally for for you for me um, and um, 
Yeah, so why is protein important? Because it helps you your body regenerate. Protein has amino acids. Amino acids help your body detox. They help your body um, regenerate the tissues and they give you support for the detox. And one more thing I want to mention as far as the heavy metal detox is fiber. Fiber coming from real foods, fiber coming from plant-based foods, and that's why I think eating raw cilantro is uh, probably preferable, unless you're traveling, probably preferable to um, this kind of uh, processed cilantro anything with fiber why is fiber important because once you get all those heavy metals pulled out of your uh, tissues out of your bones they're gonna go into your bloodstream they're gonna go into uh, your digestive tract because they're gonna be coming out uh, through the bile ducts and they're gonna be traveling all through your digestive tract and you need to keep things moving so if you're constipated that's not a good thing for um, heavy metal detox you got to get things moving fiber is going to help you things moving as well as this one right here magnesium very good to get things moving very good mineral plus it's alkaline so you also get the alkalinity that a lot of people really need I do know that I need to be more alkaline living in such a acidic world got to keep things alkaline this one is also alkaline iodine is um, is also alkaline so uh, having that said make sure you're not constipated make sure you at least do uh, go to number two once a day every day preferably twice a day or more because most of your heavy metals are going to be coming out with your stools that's a lot I know so it's, it's good to break it down and um, what I have to say is besides these supplements you have to make sure you do exercise because you got to be moving all your um, muscles you got to be moving your tissues your lymph nodes everything has to be moving that way it's gonna help the detox process as well as uh, sauna is really good for you because it helps you sweat it out you know exercise obviously does that that's why that's another benefit of the exercise that it helps you sweat out some of those uh, heavy metals although most of them come out in your urine and even more so uh, when you go to the bathroom and number two piece so yes exercise and then sauna sauna especially infrared sauna I've never been to infrared sauna I used to go to the regular one all the time just to sweat it all out uh, but you have to make sure you replenish whatever minerals get sweated out with the toxins. And hence, unless you're eating like some kind of king, um, this, is, this is my insurance policy right here. You know, in addition to some of these right here. Uh, but this is just aside the point. So, yeah. Uh, having that said also exercising in the open sun because sun has those infrared um, waves already so if you don't have access to infrared sauna you can just go running in the sun and that will the sun will radiate you with the infrared and you'll be sweating too and moving all your lymphs and muscles and this and that so it's going to be helping the detox process and aside from that just you know um, plenty of water and again this is not a prescription I'm not a doctor this is just based on my experience my research as well in combination with the prescription that I received from a doctor so if you're going to attempt any kind of detox program especially a serious one like heavy metals please do see a health professional Thanks for watching and until next time where I'm going to share with you more my experiences of the heavy metal detox program. Aloha. Peace.